न्यूज सर्विसेज डिवीजन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट न्यूज वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम एम्प्लॉयमेंट न्यूज आई एम सुभद्रा रामचंद्रन गिविंग यू अ क्विक अपडेट अबाउट सम ऑफ द जॉब वेकेंसीज वेयर यू कैन अप्लाई टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेकेंसीज इन गार्डन रिसर्च शिप बिल्डर्स एंड इंजीनियर्स लिमिटेड इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड एंड डायरेक्टोरेट ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन पुलिस वायरलेस रिवर स्टीम नेविगेशन कंपनी आर एस एन सी was originally set up as an inland water transport company for trade between Calcutta and the settlements situated on the Hooghly, Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers with its registered office in London in order to repair the vessels belonging to RSNC a workshop was established in 1884 on the banks of the river Hooghly this workshop formed the origin of Garden Research Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited which has today grown into a premier shipyard of india under the administrative control of the ministry of defense government of india building state of the art warships for the indian navy and indian coast guard 19 april 1960 formed the new dawn for the company when it was reborn as a government owned central public sector enterprise and set sail on a new course adding many firsts to its credit Shipbuilding has been the core business vertical and the shipyard has modernized its infrastructure spread across the three ship production locations in Kolkata with integrated ship construction using modular construction technology the shipyard is equipped to construct 20 ships concurrently powered with a strong team of multidisciplinary design engineers creating innovative designs for current and future ready warships the state of the art virtual reality lab and the latest design software and the design team in their efforts towards innovation in ship design using better ergonomics garden research ship builders and engineers limited grsc has made commendable progress by successfully incorporating a high percentage of indigenous equipment fit into the ships being built for the indian navy and indian coast guard having achieved over 90% indigenous content on board anti-submarine warfare corvettes and landing craft utility ships in addition to ship building grsc as a diversified organization is also engaged in engine overhaul assembly and testing and other engineering activities the engineering division manufactures deck machinery items prefabricated portable steel bridges and marine pumps though the core competency of grsc has been ship building More than 5300 portable steel bridges have been supplied to Indian Army, Border Road Organisation, State PWDs and central governments. These bridges primarily used for disaster management have also been exported to friendly countries including Bhutan, Nepal, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. GRSC also has a technical training center in Baranagar, Kolkata. Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited invites applications from qualified, talented and energetic Indian nationals. for the posts of supervisors on fixed term contract basis four posts of supervisors admin and hr two posts of supervisor finance one post of supervisor material management one post of supervisor painter three posts of supervisor naval architecture two posts of supervisor security one post of design assistant supervisor electronics and one post of design assistant supervisor civil All posts of supervisors are on fixed term contract and for a period of 3 years extendable maximum up to another 2 years depending on the requirement the details like general conditions qualification eligibility selection process how to apply etc are available in career section of grsc website www.grsc.in or jobapply.in/grsc2021 Any addendum or corrigendum will be published in GRSC website only. Candidates are required to apply only through online mode. No other means or mode of submission of applications will be accepted. Closing date for online registration is 19 December 2021. The Indian Coast Guard and Armed Forces of the Union offers a challenging career to young and dynamic Indian male and female candidates for various branches that is general duty commercial pilot entry and technical engineering and electrical as an assistant commandant registration of online application will be through coast guard recruitment website www.joinindiancoastguard.gov.in 
applications will be accepted only online tentatively from 1200 hours on 6th of December to 17th December 2021 up to 1730 hours. To fill up online application, the candidates need to log on to the website www.joinindiancoastguard.gov.in and click on Opportunities button. Candidates can apply for one branch only. Filling of multiple applications will result in cancellation of all applications. After successful registration, candidates are mandatorily required to take printout of their application form and e-admit card within a stipulated time frame, which will be notified in the Coast Guard recruitment website. These documents are required to be produced at PSB Center. Admit card through URL www.joinindiancoastguard.gov.in will be available for print from 28th of December 2021 onwards till the completion of PSB. The preliminary selection will be conducted tentatively from early January 2022 onwards. Candidates are advised to regularly visit the website for latest updates regarding change in examination dates, venues and any other information. Before we move on to the next advertisement, let us first know more about the Directorate of Coordination, Police Wireless. This department came into existence on 19 February 1946, initially as Inspectorate of Wireless, and was later accorded the status of Directorate of Coordination, Police Wireless, a subordinate organization under the Ministry of Home Affairs in 1950. It was interested with the responsibility of coordinating for developing and establishing the police telecommunication network in the country and also to advise MHA on all police telecommunication matters, predominant being round-the-clock communication between the center and the state or UT capitals through a network of presently 31 interstate police wireless stations located in the state or UT capitals. At the time of its inception, wireless telegraphy, starting with old Second World War equipment, was the only mode available for communication and during the early 1970s, a teleprinter network using electromechanical devices was introduced. However, there was a vast change in the scenario during the next decade with the induction of sophisticated microprocessor-based high-speed data transmission systems. Presently, this directorate has been entrusted with the responsibility of setting up of an integrated police wireless network in the country, known as Polnet, with the aim of having direct police station to any police station communication and as backbone for online crime criminal information system of the country. The directorate also runs a central police radio training institute, which was initially started as a small training school for the in-service training requirements of DCPW personnel. This was later upgraded into a full-fledged national-level police wireless training institute in 1971 to cater to the needs of states or CPOs and other security organizations to improve the efficiency of their technical and operational manpower. Directorate of Coordination Police Wireless invites applications from eligible candidates to fill up the post of Joint Assistant Director Cipher on deputation basis. Wide advertisement published in Employment News dated 7th August to 13th August 2021. The last date of submission of application has been extended by another 30 days. The details of the post, age limit, eligibility, experience, biodata performer and other conditions etc. are available on the Directorate of Coordination Police Wireless website www.dcpw.gov.in Information about these vacancies has been published in Employment News. There are more vacancies in the journal. If you wish to read about these employment opportunities in greater detail and more, you may refer to the job journal title Employment News for Information in English, Rozgar Samacha for Information in Hindi, and Rozgar Samacha for Information in Urdu. It is published by the Publications Division, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, and made available on every Saturday. With this, we come to the end of this program. We will meet again tomorrow at 4.20 p.m. You are listening to Employment News. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on a mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on a website, newsonair.com. Thank you.